Welcome to my channel. On today's vlog, I'm just going to share with you a basic tutorial of how to upgrade your YouTube channel, your thumbnail, your intro, your outro, and your YouTube banner. So how I was able to achieve this using Canva. Very simple, very classy. If you've not noticed, head in there. But we're going to go through a simple tutorial of how I achieve this. And you can also do that for your YouTube channel. So I'm using Canva here and if you go through my screen, you will see that this is just a basic background. And for Canva, for any intro or outro, you can always go to your intro um, banner. So if you go to your homepage, you'll be able to find options of the kind of template that you want. Template design for a YouTube banner, YouTube thumbnail. If you are doing videos, you know, and all the good stuff. Right, so what you initially have to do is to have a plain background. So what I go, I'll go to my design, my template, and I'll pick a grid that works. So a type grid. And I pick these two banner options. Then I go to my upload i already have some pictures that i've uploaded the ones i used what i used was this one i think this was on this corner this one on this corner so you can drag or to fit into the screen so that it's not too it's not shorter than the other one you know just to align with this other picture so also on my grid there's a plain one, and this is the one I put in the middle of this. So I have to go back to my upload, look for the picture that I used. I think it was this one. Then this comes in the middle here. Then you have option to resize as you want. So I think this is fine. Then what I now do is to now give it a... So the next thing is to animate it and um, depends on how I want it. So you click on the photo. I actually want both. So you can actually space, depends on what you want. The grid, you can decide to give it a space or no. So this is coming together like one. So I'm clicking that because I want to animate the whole thing. So I go to my animation and I think I I use the breath one, this one. Then this one I used the baseline. Yeah. So I use the baseline for this one so it comes up. Then I'm going to move on to the next one. So we can finish this up by giving it, you know, just writing flukies then on it. We'll go to text. Um, you can put something ahead here. So what I did was move this up here. I used the template of um, Brilliant Signature. And put um, Flukies then. Change the color to white. Then increase the font. As long as it's readable, I think I can split the D so that it can be right. So this looks good. Right, so we're done with the first template. We'll move on to the second one. So on the next page, we'll look for the phone case design. Phone frame so we're looking at this i used this option then i also use the ipad ipad frame which is this so these are the two options that i used um so we move this here because we're going to animate it and this here I 
and then I look for YouTube subscribe logo so we were trying to get anything that we can use I can change this eventually to white so what I need to do is also to get my background to pop out these colors because I'm going to change this to white just to make it uniform but let's let's go on I'm going to get the YouTube logo subscribe logo the Twitter Twitter logo so I'm gonna pop this here I will look for the Instagram logo as well. So we can actually use this and then you know you can always change the color. Instagram Twitter. Twitter logo, Facebook logo. Right, I got this one. This looks good. Instagram logo, I was looking for the white. Yes, I think this one is good. And then we can look for the white on YouTube. Right, this is what I was looking for. So this this actually looks good. All of this, we're gonna work it with it right now. But the background, I want us to change the background to something else that pops so that it can bring out right the color that's too dark. This is preferably good. Then we can change this to white. So we can change this one to white, same to white. Facebook to white. I think this is already but let's see if we can get a clear white like the other ones. Yeah. So these are actually the logos that I'm going to be using. Stay connected. Then I'm going to introduce a video into this. So what I did was to go back to my uploads, go to my videos. I'd already uploaded this particular one. So what I did was to import this video into this one. Expand slightly to have you know that view. Then what I did was to edit right. So what I did was to edit. Yeah. Then I go to this one. This is also another video that I put here, something short. And then I put... Don't mind the volume on the end because I'm still going to take that out when I'm going to export it. So what I did was to include this one in this space. And then let's work on our logo and the names or the handle rather so because i have my twitter is the only one that is slightly different with name so i'm going to do instagram youtube and facebook as one then twitter will be you know standing alone so let's go to our text. Um, so with this one, I'll just say it is um, that's the handle for my Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And then I can 
I can actually duplicate this and change the font or the name for Twitter. For Twitter, it is my name. Okay. Right, so this is actually template. It's actually um, TikTok icon. This is actually meant to be TikTok. So we can take this and change it to white. Okay. So not the YouTube. I didn't put the YouTube here because this is YouTube logo already. Um, so this also has to be white. Okay. So TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Look is then the Twitter is Afolake Idris one. So that's how we achieve the second layer. Let's move on to the third one. So for the third one, I'm also going to be using my design. I actually have also uploaded the pictures. This one I used images of my um, YouTube thumbnails. So I have them here. So what I did was to go back to my my graphics um that's the grid the grid and the frames so you type grid then we look the one that has four because i used four right this one and um, i'm going to duplicate it here also because um, i used two so that i don't have to come back here so let's now go to our picture from our upload and now begin to dump on that. Begin to dump. So you can arrange as you like. I actually just um I was particular when I was doing that. So this is the first one, then the second one as well. The second one I moved. Okay, duplicate this one. Then. Let's take this out and we use this one. This stays in there. Great. So this is how we achieved the second and the third page of the um, intro for the YouTube channel. So what I did was to also animate this one. So what I did was to make this swipe left, you know so this i then the second one i animated in a particular way and then for this one i think i also did something to expand so so you can do spacing like i said the grid if you decide to you know give them a space slightly that is fine then for this one i did photorizing for the entire picture frame. Did you see that? So it comes up as such. For this one, I actually used another upload of video to be able to show. I use another upload of video to be able to show um what we do right so i also crop this video so that this gives that effect right then i began to fit it in with all the things that we do immigrant stories so it's a fun thing so you just begin to drop it in and then we go to the last the last step of the intro then i go back to my grid in my design Round grill to stand on circle, so something like this. I put in the middle, we're still in the intro, so this will be keep watching, right? So 
So let me change the font. I want to change my background again to something slightly darker. Then I'm going to change this to white. Then maybe just increase double the font or capitalize it. Put it in caps. Put a picture and upload. I have an upload of another picture that I put there, which was actually a crop of something. I think it was this one. Okay, so I have this one. Watching. I can reduce that to slightly smaller. I think I want to also put uh, an animation in the keep watching so it goes and breathe, it can pop up. There are so many options. I think I put yeah, I can use this. Let's use that. So let's move into our outro. It's just a duplication of our intro. We can duplicate this one. Um, change this to thanks for watching. Change this to thanks for watching. So we are going to go back to our grid. Our grid. Our pick. So this should be something that works for YouTube. So that can be here. Then we can now do a subscribe you know template here as well you can say subscribe then we can also probably just put like a clip to subscribe you know something like this so we can put this and then probably just animate this one yeah exactly so just to show that click sound right so let's download this one right now let's go to our youtube banner so we're trying to achieve this this is what i've done and if you check my youtube banner you know my youtube this is what you will see so let's go to how i was able to achieve this on canva shall we so we're back here so this is what we want to achieve what i will do is um, just get a plain template and of course when you go onto your youtube um your canvas home page you'll be able to find youtube banner because there's always specification for the banner then look for what works, what you really love to use. So this is what I picked. What I did was, I love the background, I love the simplicity of what this gives me. So things that I didn't need, so I took them off. This one, for instance, deleted all, all of this one. I see eventually, I used this, so I kept this banner. So this is what I used. Look it then. And because I know that people also have concerns with how to pronounce the name, so I decided to highlight the den so people know that it's like a hub, it's Luki's hub. Increase the font. One thing you should know is that all this part is the one that you can see on your banner. All of this extra space is really nothing. So, there's a grid on the side that helps you. You can't go beyond this and this. So in between the height of this one anyway. But we can always keep trying and checking up behind from your YouTube. When you are, when you are done, just check. Try to upload it on your banner and see if uh, it aligns. Then keep coming back to, you know, adjust it. I can increase the font so that you guys can see because it looks so small. Sorry about that. Right, so this is maybe I settlement block. So I brought this here and I decided to you know just make it a bit transparent you know in the background so this is what i did just slightly faint then i also imported one of my really lovely pictures so for 
YouTube, if you watch on your computer, you will see the whole thing. If you watch on your phone, you you know you will be able to see cookies then and this picture and everything just in between this. So you must keep checking back and forth when you upload to be able to see, ensure that you are not cutting anything up from any angle. If you want people to see something while they are on their phone, then you should know that that's what should be within the confines of the picture. Okay. So I brought this here and I want to also make it bigger. Right, then I also try to I think I highlighted this the background black to give it a really good tone and then the lettering I made white and now highlighted it then green um, purple so that that also gives that distinction and the consistency between you know the color scheme this was also a tone of brown or, or gold i used something like gold there bolding it up because i have a bold background here i'm sorry i'm also because i'm also into design colors matter to me and how they um you know stay in sync so i always look at that in whatever i do i think the black is too dark then i began to feed it with the logo the the things that I do on the back end. Then I began to fit this in until I finally got this. So that's the final result. So that's what we've got. And I hope you enjoyed watching this and you could put that test on your own page and also give yourself a good rebrand for your YouTube and other handles. You can also do this for your Instagram handle just begin to tweak things and make it work. Thanks for watching guys. See you on my next vlog